Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rev here, and today's vlog is going to be about uh, the death of Snowball in the wake. I know I said that in the last video. I was going to talk about Snowball and whatnot. Also, or also, we're still going to be going to the gym here shortly, but I just want to spend the first five so minutes just talking more in detail about how I lost Snowball and how I'm in the Dodge Charger now and whatnot. So, long story short, I, this might be a part two or part three video, or like. I might make like a separate entity of this video because I had the footage of when I went to the dealership and whatnot. And it, I do have like very emotional moments in that video and everything. So I don't know if I want to post everything in it, but I'll at least get you the last cold start of it. I dig it, or yeah, I dig it the last cold start of that video. Sucked to hear it, or it sucked to do it and whatnot. But I'll be honest, I fucking cry. I'll keep it, I'll keep it real. That was my first car I bought out of my own money. First project car I was working on, put my blood, sweat, and tears in it. So. Pretty sure if y'all work in your own cars and been a project guy, y'all know how it feels when y'all get when y'all lose a car and it wasn't even y'all fault and somebody else either totaled it or destroyed it somehow and it wasn't even on you, it wasn't your fault or whatnot. And you don't understand how that feels if that's happened to you. So yeah, if you judge, you judge, don't you don't, I really don't care. But <clears throat> I'd love the hell out that car and it's all good. It saved me, saved my life. I'm here and I'm happy and I'm blessed. So it did its job. I can say that much. But I'll talk more in detail about it. So the first accident, me and my friends, we were going to see one of the Marvel movies. I want to say Eternals. And we were going, I was going towards the Lee Haven Mall, if y'all know the 7 by 7 area. But we was going to the Regal Cafe and whatnot. And I was turning right on Pat by the past 20 canals and whatnot. This one little neighborhood over there. But this car had ran the red light hit me from behind. So that was strike one. That was my first accident. So when that got fixed, uh, literally four hours later, after I picked up the car, like a month like a month or so later, uh, after everything got fixed on the uh, back bumper and left-hand side of the car, that's where the damage was. I literally get this car back today. Not even five hours ago, bro. So as I was saying with the second accident, after I got the car back four hours later, me and my uh, me and my friend at the time, Margaret, uh, we was coming out the store and whatnot, and I parked dead in front of the Seven Eleven. So as soon as we opened the double doors, you can see straight to the car. As soon as we came out the store, there was a guy parked literally same spot that just got fixed, back left bumper in the whole left hand side of the car. He parked dead into it. It scraped the whole side of the car up and everything that I just got fixed. So I had to take it back up to the shop the very next day and whatnot. I didn't even have the car for not even more than four or some hours. Parked within the lines, clear as day and whatnot. I was on the over the lines on the other side. I was dead center in the parking space. So it was like, ain't no way. It, I don't I don't know if he was drunk or whatnot. I didn't smell any alcohol coming off of him. I didn't play that card. I wasn't really concerned about that. I just wanted my car to be fixed yet again and just to keep it pushing. It was just a long day of work and whatnot and didn't really have time to deal with it because I literally just got the car in. Yeah, if you pick up your car not even four hours from the shop and it just gets hits again and you're not even inside the car and it was a parked car, you need to be pretty angry and, and just flabbergasted yourself. I was just pretty much flabbergasted the whole time. I just couldn't believe it. It was, yeah, so I just kept moving. So third accident like a month or so later like all these accidents these three accidents was within like four or some months and the sad thing is none of them was my fault and everything but it is what it is wrong place wrong time right crap happens but so the third accident i'm going to work is like 4 45 4 30 in the morning or whatever and um coming up this uh intersection or coming up towards this intersection there's another 7-eleven all these three accidents have been all around the 7-eleven first one right in front of a 7-eleven second one uh in front of a 7-eleven third one right right next to a 7-eleven so i don't even go to the 7-elevens anymore i don't know what's up with 7-elevens but they i just people love hit me around them so i just try to stay away from them but it's hard to when you got 7-elevens on every dark street around this place if you live in a in a little city like the South by Seven or whatnot or Commonwealth, but uh, um, yeah. So the car was pulling out the Seven Eleven and everything, and I was passing this Jackrabbit, and the exits was not even like a bus length away from one another, so it was like no room for us to yield or try to slow down. I was already past the Jackrabbit exit, so I was probably less than the bus bus length away from the exit, or whatever. Like a uh, half or like maybe a car and a half or by the bus lane away or whatever so we're doing my 35 i have a car on my left a cop behind me 
I'm trying to slam on my brakes. I can't merge left because the car isn't paying attention to what's going on. So <clears throat> when I'm trying, I'm holding my horn and whatnot to try to get everybody's attention. Uh, car, to, car to my left finally sees what's happening because the car in front is just slowly creeping out, like not even giving it gas, nothing, just pulling out in front of us like a rolling barrel on uh, Donkey Kong and whatnot. And so uh, the car on my left gave me enough room last minute to try to pull over and merge over to the left. And I got over enough to where I did t bone the dude, but I uh, I hit him or er, my front end, the front right of my car hit uh, his front end and sent him on the curb. And whatnot. I kept going straight to the intersection and the traffic was going east and west and whatnot. And I was going north and south. So yeah, I was going to get split both ways and nobody paid attention to me. But everybody slowed down and whatnot, gave me enough time to try to uh, drag my car out. Or I didn't really drag it, but my whole front right end was collapsed and whatnot. So that whole front right was locked up as a front wheel drive car so i only had power in my left tire to try to get it across the street so it did its job got it across and everything but the cop ran him up for a failure to yield and everything cop saw the whole thing and the guy tried to argue about it talking about he didn't yield to us like no you didn't even attempt or try to try to get out the way or even attempt to yield you just came up to the to the exit and didn't even stop you just rolled through the exit didn't even break or nothing so, yeah, you're at fault for not yielding to the, to the flow of traffic. Like, there was not even enough room for you to come out, even if he was going at the, coming out of there at a fast speed or whatnot. Like, come on now. It's, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 so in the morning. Wake up. Like, I don't know. But that's how I lost Snowball and everything. And now I'm in a 2021 Dodge Charger GT. So, that's the story and the death of Snowball. Since this video is about like seven something minutes. I'm probably eh, no, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna make this one whole video and just put the, uh, pictures and videos of Snowball in here. And just make it one whole vlog. <clears throat> but without further ado, I'm gonna be heading to the gym and I'll post my gym talk stuff on gym or <laughs> I'll post my gym talk stuff on TikTok and everything. And I'll add it as well in here towards the end of the video after the Snowball stuff and whatnot. So I'll see y'all. Have a good one. You see, fucking car is a wreck. <sighs> fucking aftermarket, aftermarket. Oh, look at you. Because motherfuckers want to fucking pull out in front of you at 6 in the fucking morning while you're trying to go to fucking work. And you fucking told your shit. And now, <laughs> fucking customer intake. I'm gonna fucking miss that. I miss that a fuck a lot.